There are nearly 100 known places where fish is landed on the Trinidad coast. The main fishing ports are Taco, Point Cumana, Belendra, Salibia, Ordoy Village, Orange Valley, Brickfield, Maruga, Laloon, Morn Diablo, Erin, Icacos, Cedros, Otaheite, San Fernando, Claxton Bay, Cockerite, Carnage, Maracas, Las Cuevas, Blanchicias, Grand Riviera and Matelot. This slide actually shows the locations of places where tide prediction information is available. There are about 1500 pirogues operating in Trinidad's waters. They are mostly 7 to 9 meters long and have outboard engines. These boats do not make good radar targets if they are not displaying a radar reflector and can also be poorly lit. The times these boats are active would vary with area fished, tides and moon phase. There are about 45 long liners operating in Trinidad's waters. They are mostly 10 to 23 meters long and have inboard engines. These vessels spend up to 15 days at sea. There are about 25 trawlers operating in Trinidad's waters. These vessels spend up to 21 days at sea. The trawlers operate on the west, north and south coasts of Trinidad. They operate primarily in the inshore near coast areas close to the breeding grounds of the shrimp. A gill net is a wall of netting that hangs in the water column, typically made of monofilament or multifilament nylon. Gill net. Mesh sizes are designed to allow fish to get only their head through the netting but not their body. The fish's gills then get caught in the mesh as the fish tries to back out of the net. Trolling is a method of fishing where one or more fishing lines, baited with lures or bait fish, are drawn through the water behind a moving boat. The principal line fishing areas are on the west, north and east coasts and around offshore structures such as oil rigs. Long lines consist of a main line, gangens, and baited hooks. Pelagic long line. A high flyer buoy is used to monitor gear position while fishing, and light sticks are often used to target certain species. The long line set can be suspended at any depth within the water column, depending on target species. The pelagic longline gear used by the longliner fleet comprises 300 to 1,000 hooks attached to a mainline 24 to 88 kilometers long and set at about 30 to 50 meters below the surface of the water. The fishing areas are off the north and east coasts of Trinidad. As the name suggests, longline fisheries trail a long line, or main line, behind a boat. Baited hooks are attached to the nets at intervals to attract the target species. Long lines can be set for pelagic, meaning midwater, or demersal, meaning bottom, fishing, depending on the target species. As the name suggests, long line fisheries trail a long line, or main line, behind a boat. Baited hooks are attached to the nets at intervals to attract the target species. Long lines can be set for midwater or bottom fishing, depending on the target species.